the COVID issues ah, and okay. uh, our store as well. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, okay. without further ado, okay, before, I think we're still waiting for views, right? Yeah, waiting for people to come in. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, so Chill a bit first. How's, how's school? How's school? School, uh, how's uh, school uh, quite tiring. Uh. Okay, honestly, this is my, like, starting next week, this coming, this coming Monday is my recess week. But uh, just last week, I was struggling with quite a lot of uh, projects, assess, uh, assignments, mm. and it was really quite tiring. I actually didn't sleep for <laughs> a few nights. Yeah, I only, I only got like five hours sleep last night, but I was yeah. good. I mean, I'm still here. Okay, still surviving. Okay. And you eh? Me? Your school's going to start soon, right? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so my internship at my Bello is ending soon. And this uh, will be my last uh, Facebook live here. My second last one. And my last Facebook live. Hey, so, so far you did two? Two. This is first my one second was with one. Uh, with Jia Ying. Oh, with Jia Ying. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so today is his, um, basically next, next week is his last week. Yep. He's ending uh, end of the month. So right now he's doing his second and his, yeah, his last Facebook Live. Uh. Yeah. I don't know how many more I'll do. Uh. This is like my... No, fourth. More Facebook fourth, Live for you. Fourth or fifth. Uh, yes. if, if you want to see Daryl uh, solo Facebook Live, no, no, no. Okay, wait. So the reason why Skylar is doing um, a Facebook Live right on his last week is because who was it? Who called you? Up? Oh, okay. So uh, there was a comment on YouTube, right? If you uh, search uh, one of the Facebook Live, uh, there was this uh, person called uh, Mr. Daniel Lim. Uh, uh, Shout Dan out, Mr. Daniel Lim. Shout <laughs> out, Mr. Daniel Lim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mr. Daniel Lim actually uh, commented on your previous Facebook Live, uh, uh, Skylar's yeah. previous Facebook Live, yes, and then yes. said that, oh, he, pre he liked his presentation and he wants more, he wants Skylar to do more. Yeah, yeah. So, so just for you today, I'm back. Yeah, it wasn't his just choice by the way, but yes, uh, we will give you what you want, Mr. Dan Mr. Daniel Lim. Daniel yeah, Lim, right? Daniel, Daniel yes. Lim, okay. Ken, oh, I see there are more people joining already. Okay, let's, uh, let's start let's with... Let's go to COVID updates. Okay, so, COVID updates. Yeah. Okay, so previously, the COVID updates were kind of, kind of messy, uh, it's always, two people, five people, eight people, then don't know can go out, mm, mm. can uh, dine in or what. But now everything standardized already. Only two. Yeah. You go out, two person. You go out. Okay, but this is only starting uh, Monday. Uh, Monday. So uh, Correct, 27. from 27 September, Monday, mm. then uh, these uh, COVID measures will be... Uh, in place. Uh, in place. Right. Yeah. So uh, starting Monday, they'll only be, uh, you'll only be allowed to go out in groups of two. Uh, only can dine in groups of two, hawkers also groups of two, basically everywhere also two person yeah, only. So you like, want to visit, uh, go uh, visit people's uh, house, right? Visit, like, visit yeah. your house. Uh, visit your house also two, two person, person only. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Per right. day, uh, per day. Yeah, so Correct. Uh, so because of that. One, uh, one household per day. Uh, right. right, yeah. To minimize the social interaction and mingling. I mean, now it's quite scary. Uh. You know, last time yeah. we were like, we were on how many cases last time? Quite Double digit. Yeah. Last time, if it hits 100, we are like, wow, everyone panicking already. Yeah, but now it's what, 1.5? 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.5, 1. 1.6k. It's, yeah, it's very, it's very yeah, high now. So, so uh, everyone should yeah. you know, be careful. Yeah, so, please stay everyone safe. Have a vaccine, go and vaccine, please. Yes. Don't need to wait. Yo. Those who haven't got your vaccination yet, please get your shot. Get your shot. Get, get your yours shot. now. <laughs> what's, the, what's the song? Uh, the Kang <laughs> one, right? I don't know. I think there's a new one, but I didn't, I didn't listen. I only heard the yeah. Kang one. So, uh, yeah, so... Mm. Uh, following the COVID updates, we also have some store updates. Mm, uh, okay. So, um, for store updates from Monday onwards, uh, basically uh, all test rides and all bike viewing appointment uh, will be cancelled until further notice. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so from Monday onwards, yeah. Okay. Then, um, all those um, existing uh, bike viewing appointments and test ride appointments will also be cancelled. Uh, so we'll call you. Um, yeah, our team is actually starting yeah. to. They started making calls already. Things since yesterday, so, uh, when the news came out. So we're actually calling uh, for those who have actually booked a test ride or bike uh, bike viewing session yeah. from next week onwards. So right, we're actually so calling you to tell you that it's cancelled due to this uh, we'll, recent update yeah, so on the COVID situation. Just to. Uh, make sure that everyone is safe. So make sure that you are safe. Mm. Make sure that we are, we are safe. safe. Yeah, uh, because we uh, we all one person, you all come in, you all think okay. But then we stand here. We go at the retail store. Uh, we stay for the whole day. So it's always, yeah, it's always a lot of people coming in and out. So we yes. are trying to protect you guys and also to protect ourselves. Yeah. So uh, this is just to take uh, extra precaution and to keep everyone safe. So mm. 
Uh, but even though uh, test rides and bike viewing appointments will be cancelled, yeah. uh, for those who want to drop off their bikes for checks and tunings, uh, servicing, uh, repairs, all this, uh, you can still do so. Uh, just simply uh, come by, drop, drop by our store and then uh, leave your bikes with our uh, bike. Yeah, just leave it with us. Uh. Yeah, but then so uh, do take note that you will take like maybe two to three days right, yeah, because right. it, will take, it will take a while for our bike technicians to actually go and uh, you know, yeah. fix whatever that is uh, going on with your bike. Right. As well as, uh, you know, maybe when you come in, you might want to, like before you come in, just drop us an email. So yeah. we'll know we can maybe like stagger the timings when you are coming or at least we'll know when you are coming. Yeah. So and, if you want to uh, just check again with us whether you can drop your bike off. Mm. Uh, you can just follow us on our social media platform. You can PM us on our social media platform. Yes. Or Facebook, can... Instagram, just search Mighty yeah. Velo. Yep, it's shown yeah. on the screen now. Correct. So just drop us uh, a text, you know. Can I drop off my bike for check and tuning? Yeah, check and, and tuning. We'll bring it down. Okay, one more thing. So not only for drop, dropping off for check yeah. and tuning, but also for collections. Because yeah. I think a lot of you are worried. No, uh, because during this COVID period, can we still collect our bikes? Well, the answer is yes. yes. Um, but it's still based on appointment basis, right? Yes. So right. Uh, those of you who have received uh, your email to tell you that uh, your bike is ready for collection, mm. uh, you can continue to click on the link that's uh, sent to you and you can make an appointment to uh, collect your bike. Mm. Yes. Right. So the bike collections are still staggered to minimize the interaction. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue and the bike building process will continue. So yes. if you but you order your bike, you pre-order your bike and they tell you, uh, we told you that there's a specific or rather a range like it will come during mid uh, November, mid yeah. December. Yeah, we, it will still be roughly around that period. So yeah, the correct. collection period will not be affected. Yes. yes. So yeah. process also not affected. La. Correct. So uh, just to recap again, mm. so basically uh, all test rides and bike viewing appointments will be cancelled mm -hmm. and those existing uh, appointments will be cancelled as well. So uh, our team will be calling you uh, over the next few days to uh, let right. you know that uh, your appointments are cancelled. Yeah. And, but for bike collections and drop-offs for check and tuning, uh, they will continue, uh, continue on as appointment per basis, normal. Uh. Yes, yes, correct. Thank you, on, as shown on the screen. Yes. Okay, moving on from uh, store updates. Store updates. Uh, okay, so we're going to cover a lot of bikes today. Mm. So uh, maybe let's start with uh, some uh, the bikes that you can collect the earliest. Earliest. Uh, okay, so yes. earliest how many, how many days? Uh? Or is it so weeks or what? The a earliest. No, uh, the earliest ETA you can collect your bikes uh. is five working days. And uh, for which okay. models uh, you ask? So, yeah. uh, so you can collect, you can order the Birdie New Classic, the Carry Me, as okay, well classic. as the Rich GT, okay. and you okay, can collect classic. it uh, after five working days. Yes. Yeah, so classic. This one. We'll start off with the New Classic. So this is the Birdie New Classic. And okay, I'll show wow. you how to unfold. Ah, okay. unfold, unfold quite simple and. So basically, yes. you got only four steps. First step, lift up the handlebar, you lock, one. Seat post, two. Open up, swing, three. Swing this to the front, four. It's as simple as that. So yes. this is the same uh, folding and unfolding method for all the birdie models. Mm. It's just four simple steps. Right, so what about the Birdie New Classic? Yeah, Is so five days? Uh, yes, so uh, okay. you can order the Birdie New Classic and it's uh, currently the only Birdie model available that you can collect after five working days. Mm. Yeah, so... Mm, okay, see this... Uh, oh, how many colours this one? Uh, this Birdie New Classic comes in four different frame colours. Mm -hmm. uh, so it uh, comes in uh, this Mercury Grey, okay. uh, Polish Silver, mm. Mercury copper okay. and mercury blue. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, but, however, there's a very sad news to say that uh, all these four frame colors, uh, mercury oh, copper, right? mercury yeah. blue, mercury grey, poly silver, they'll be phased out by the end of the year. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, this, if this you is the last like, batch, really? Uh, yes, this no is more. the last batch. So, okay. once all the orders have been uh, ordered and uh, 
basically the colors won't be coming back anymore for the new classic. Of course, so, that's so there's limited stock, lah. Basically, yes, correct. Okay, yeah. so I think after um, this batch is gone, there won't be any of the Burdi new classic in these four colors that yes. were shown. So uh, new colors might come about. So mm. if you want to know what the new colors are, uh, just follow us on yes, our social media. Yes, stay tuned on our social media. Okay, so we have a question from uh, Mr. Ray Lim. What is your lead time for R20? Okay, so for uh, Birdie models uh, that are not the Birdie New Classic, the collection time is around end December. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so if, if you really want a bike now to cycle during this period, because you cannot go out, you only can go out in pairs, like mm. what we mentioned. Mm. So if you want to go and cycle outside, uh, you can consider this one of the models. We've got yes. two more models that we're going to introduce next. So uh, there are total yeah. three different models that uh, can collect after just five working days Correct. instead of uh, end December. Uh, so uh, another question for Mr. Ray Lim. So do you still have uh, any more P40 to order? So uh, sad news is uh, our P40 or uh, all 350 of the, our P40 here in Singapore has been sold out. Oh, okay. So yes. Okay. So no more, no more P40. I like the P40. The thing very sleek, very nice. Okay. Uh, no more. Sorry, Mr. Ray Lim. There's uh, no more P40. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, let's talk more about the Birdie New Classic. Yeah. Okay, so the Birdie New Classic, right, is the entry level, I would say the entry level of um, all the Birdie models. What it has is, um, it's, it's differentiated by its round uh, tubular frame. Right, so it's uh, actually based off the older Birdie models, the older design, like 20, 25 years ago. Uh, yeah, can you help me do a close up? Yes, so we have. Okay, so the first noticeable difference is uh, the round tubular frame. Which is eight speeds, so it's more than enough for your park connectors, your leisure riding, uh, daily uh, daily commutes. Nice. Okay, what else? What else is different? Show them the brakes. V brakes. Okay, so these brakes, as you can see, yeah, I'm going to cap. Uh, so this before I cap, then this after I cap. Oh, don't close up. Okay, let me don't close up. Yeah, so the V-brakes are actually like a cap cap kind of system. So you will, like, imagine this is your rim. This is your rim. The V-brakes will just cap onto the rim when it's spinning. Then that will give, uh, cause the friction and then it will, it's a braking system, like, basically. Yeah, it will cause uh, your bike to stop. Yeah. Mm. So what, what are the differences? I see what, what's unique is the round frame. Round tubular uh, frame. Eight speed. Eight speed. And the V-brakes. V-brakes, yes. Correct. So, uh, we have uh, actually we have a new classic video to show you. So mm. uh, okay, it's done by one of our yes. ex interns. No, it's by me. Oh shit! It's, it's, it's a new one. No. Oh shit! Okay. I did the okay, video. Okay, Skylar did the video. I thought I it was so another one. Content, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was another one. I thought it was done by Kaimi. Okay, okay, come, let's take a look at the video yes, done by Skylar. Team, can we have? Right. Okay, welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed the video done by Skyler. I thought it was yes. done by someone else, but it's by Skyler. Okay. By yes. me. That was me when I had long girl. Long hair, yeah. Hair. He had long hair last time. So he had this... How long? Uh, shoulder length? Uh? 
Shoulder length. Yeah, shoulder length hair, right? And yeah. he can tie into a ponytail. Wow, it was damn cool, right? But he had to cut it off because of uh, what? NS checkup, right? Yeah. Yeah, for NS uh, checkup. I'm a good boy, I cut my hair. Yeah, good boy. What, what? Yes. I told him don't need it because you just need to flip out and then just need to show your forehead and take a good photo. That's it. But okay. I mean, he's happy with his new hair also. Yeah. It was uh, time and so, for actually, when are you going NS? Uh, still got very long. Very long? Yeah, still got oh, very He long. looks very scared, okay? Come next, uh, yes. let's go with the other bike. Okay, so total there are three bikes that have yes. a collection date of only five working days. Yes. So, so the first one is this Birdie New Classic. Classic. Uh, can mm -hmm. we show the slides for the colors and the price as well? So basically, mm -hmm. uh, the Birdie New Classic uh, comes in four colors, which will be phased out by the end of the year. Okay. So Mercury Copper, Mercury Blue, Mercury Grey, and Poly Silver. And it's retailing at 2099. Yeah, okay. So for those of you who have been mon monitoring the birdie models, right, yeah. you realize that these colors are actually uh, the premium colors for the other birdie models. Yes. And this for this mod for this um birdie new classic, right? You do not have to pay an additional top up uh, for these colors. Yeah. So these are the four special colors and like what Skylar mentioned, end of the year, um you'll probably phase out by then. Yes. yes. And there's no new batch coming after this. Uh. Okay, so let's go to the next next bike. Next bike, which one? Carry uh, me. Carry me. Okay. Correct. Okay, so the carry me is um a lot smaller, a lot thinner. It's very slick, and it's really, really, very thin. Okay, and it's, it weighs what eight point five kilos, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, eight point five. Okay, come, just compare. So this is the carry. No, it looks as slim. Oh no, even thinner than Skyler. Put, put. Okay, about the same lah. Literally, you put them side by side, you can't, you can't see, you can't see, uh, you can't see the difference. Ah, uh, you can see, you can see, can see. Oh, yeah. You fat. Uh, too fat. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so um, what's okay? What's so special about the carry me? You tell them then I, I go and unfold. So, uh, the carry me is uh very good for just uh commute commutes. So if you are just looking for a simple bike, uh, which uh can you know. Uh, let you commute from uh, your home to your workplace or you know, uh, just uh, leisure riding, short rides around the park connector then the carry me is actually uh, good yeah. so it's a single speed and it comes with 8 inch wheels yes so it's a very uh, simple and compact bike it's and very light, very 8.5 light well. so uh, yeah you can see just there yeah, serious. It's really very mm. light. It's like yes. I'm not strong, uh, I'm not strong. It's really very light. Yes. So as you can as you can see, the unfolding process is also quite simple. And I think what's unique about this um carry me right is mm. because it has a very low step over rate. Yes. Is it what you call it? step over? Step over. Step over rate. Uh, step, step over. No, step over. Not not very rate. Low step over. Very low step over. Yes, Do too many projects. Really. A lot of rate, rate, rate. Yeah. So what the what's the good thing about this low step over is. No elderly, or if not, uh, younger kids. You know, they don't have to, like, you bring the classic. Ah. They don't have to lift uh, the leg so high just to get onto the, onto the bike itself. Yes. You, because a lot of people do this. This one you can just like that. You see. Yeah. As opposed to this. This one, how you, how you go up? You show them. You can still go up like that. Can Actually, not. for body, it, it also has a very low step over. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, all yes. foldable bikes are generally quite low, but then yes. that's the unique sign point of this uh, carry me. Because it's even lower. I don't have to lift up. It's be way below my knee height. Yeah. So, yeah. So the carry me is good for all your daily, um, maybe short distances from your house to you know you go and tap out food, you go and buy groceries. Yeah. Yeah. Simple mm. bike for short commutes around. Yes. Mm. Carry me. Or if you want to have a challenge, you want to challenge yourself. You want to cycle. It's it's very good for exercise. Like, to be honest, because it's only single speed. Um, okay, it's not true. not really uh, designed, you know, to go. Uh, up and down, uneven mm. terrain, mm. up slope. Mm. So if you want to challenge yourself, well, by all means, because uh, we have interviewed people. I think I interviewed that time who is Apple Apple. 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 Yeah. So she, she's a female, um, not a very, uh, not not a professional cyclist, but she can cycle up to thirty km per hour on the carry me. Yeah, and she cycle what for yeah. two over hours, three hours uh, sometimes. Yes. She will cycle. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. So and anyway, the bike, right, is, um, I would say the speed of the bike most of the time is 
看人的。你 see how fast you cycle. It's a personal kind of thing. Yeah, it's not really. Don't blame the bike if you cannot cycle fast. So we have a question from Rene Wu. Yes, hello Rene. Uh, uh, if I'm sixty kg, can I ride the carry me? Sixty kg can. Can. Yeah. If sixty kg cannot ride, I cannot ride already. Yeah. I can. I can go on this bike. I think I can bounce, bounce, bounce a bit. Yeah. So uh, the carry me can hold uh up to uh. Eighty. Yes, can hold up to eighty kg. Yes. So you're sixty. Uh, you're good. You're safe. That's right. Uh, okay, so uh, the carry me uh actually comes in several colors. So this is the crimson red color. Mm. So so uh, carry me can the video show the to show seven uh, the slide. So uh, the carry me uh is retailing at nine hundred and ninety nine. So nine nine nine, and it comes in amber orange, crimson red, uh khaki brown, lime green, sky blue. Slate grey and yellow, and mm. ETA is also five working days. Okay, so this is the second bike that um, has an ETA of five working days. Yes. So so far we've gone through two bikes. First is the Birdy New Classic, uh, the one with the round frame. Yes. And also second is this Carry Me. So what's the third bike? Our third bike is a uh, different kind of bike. No, it's not, not a Birdy. Uh, but it's by. Uh, Pacific Cycles as well. Okay. Uh, yes, which we distribute their bikes which. for. Yes. Okay, so I'll bring the bike in. Alright, so here we have the third bike on the list. The Rich GT. The Rich GT. Yes. Okay, so this is the third bike that um, will only take five working days to to be done uh, for you to be, uh, to be available for collection. Yes. This is the third bike. Yes. So what's so special about this Rich GT? Yes. Rich GT is actually also very light. What's the weight? Uh, about 10.2 kg. 10.2. I'm not wrong. Okay, so it's actually modeled after a road bike. Yes. So yeah, you can see it's very, everything is very slick. It's essentially, the Rich GT is a compactable mini velo. Mm. That's what we call it. So yeah. it, it, it's a... It's not actually a foldable bike like the Birdie or the Carry Me. Uh, it's a uh, what we call a packable bike. Okay. So um, you can still keep it and compact it, but uh, you know, yeah, in terms of keeping process, it's mm. slightly more, more fun, complicated. Yeah. yeah so uh, okay, but it, it wasn't it won't be a problem if you are cycling, let's yes. say, from your house. Because yes. if you cycle from your house, means you go down, you start cycling. Let's say you're near park connector, you go to some, or maybe you cycle quite far. But if you cycle there and back without like um, any transportation in between, I think the Rich GT is a good choice because it's a very comfortable uh, ride and it's very light. So, if, if, I mean, if you want to pack, right, we have videos on uh, yes. our YouTube, right? Our YouTube. So, uh, yeah. if you want to know how to uh, keep this bike into its compact size and also unfold it out to this full size, so. Mm. Uh, you can just check out our social media. It's uh, our YouTube. Just go to our YouTube and you can find the video. Correct. Yes. So uh, we have a question from Ariel TL. Uh, hello. Hi uh, Ariel. The seat is not exactly very comfortable. Any way to add suspension? Uh, recommendations? recommendations for suspension seat posts and suspension seats. Uh, oh, so okay. that's part of our accessories segment in this live show. So yes. uh, just stay tuned to towards the later part of the live and then we'll cover that part we okay. are of the saddles. Mm. Yes. Okay, so for back to Rich GT. Okay, what's yeah. so special? How many speed is this? The Rich GT is eleven speeds, you know. Mm -hmm. And and, and Shimano, it, right? it's built oh, no, it's like SRAM. SRAM. it's built like a full size road bike, mm -hmm. you know. So if uh, you 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 uh, one uh, a road bike to cycle with all your friends, you know, but you you still uh, value uh, space a lot, and you want to uh, you want your bike to take up as little space as possible, then you can go for the Rich GT. Correct, because yes. uh, what the Rich GT does, although it's not as foldable as the Birdie, yes. and in terms of like transporting, right? Mm. But this uh, bike it helps you save a lot of space at home. You yes. pack the thing, you put in your storeroom, done. Yes. It's one corner only. It's also very good for you know long distance riding, you know like round island trips. Mm, yeah, correct. because it comes with twenty inch wheels as well. 
yeah, so it's very good for you know if you want to just cycle the whole day you know round island mm. yeah then uh, okay per- personally good. i like the rich gt ah, because the riding experience is really very good mm. yeah it's very smooth yes so right. uh uh oh. what uh you know this rich gt comes in orange but we also have uh, oh total got three colors right yes there's a total of three colors ah, okay. yeah, so three the rich gt comes in orange black and aquamarine and it is retailing at three five five zero Yes, so again, uh, your ETA, uh, you can collect it uh, after five working days. Yes. Correct, so this is the third bike that you can collect after just five working days. Yes. So recap, first one is Birdie uh, New Classic. New Classic. Then the second is the Carry Me. Me. Now this is the third and one, Rich GT. Rich GT. Oh, so also right, mm. I forgot to mention just now earlier, uh, because bike test rides are cancelled, you know, mm. bike viewing appointments are cancelled, you know, uh-huh. then how do people know that the bike is you know what they oh, want cool, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. so actually um you can just uh, pm us or email us uh, ah, cool. on our social media so our uh, social media you can uh, find uh, facebook find us on facebook find us on instagram uh, find us on youtube also can mm. then uh, we also have an email so you can ju- or you can just email us at hello at mightyvalue.com then you can ask us any inquiries and, mm. and we'll he will reply you, you. Uh, he will answer you for the next Okay, tomorrow not working. Ah. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, so four days. I'm so if you've got anything to ask, right, faster ask him before he leaves. Yes. <laughs> uh, I will try my best to answer. Yes. If not, we have, uh, we have a huge team to um, reply all your queries. Yeah. Yes. And correct. we'll try and reply as soon as possible. Yeah. So, so yeah, just feel free to ask. Yeah. So actually, uh, because of this uh, whole COVID situation, actually mm. since last year, right, uh, we have quite a few uh, customers who actually uh, order, order oh, yeah, their correct. bikes without, you know, without the test ride yeah. and without the bike viewing appointment, you know, because uh, it, it's how, how, how they choose their bike is simply through uh, asking us through our correct. PM, through email and actually they, they uh, found it to be actually a very good fit for them mm. afterwards. Yeah. Because when you want to buy a bike, it's what? First, that's your need. You buy the you want you want a bike. Yes. After you're not sure, you need to ask questions. You ask us, we reply. After it's settled already, buy law. Simple yes. ma. After that, you write already happy. Okay. Then you yes. spread the word. Very so I think um one reason why our business is doing well is because um there's a good word of mouth also. So a lot of people are just spreading uh, good stuff about our brand. And uh, we are uh quite fast in replying your PMs. Correct. Right. Yes. That's so something we take we take pride in. Uh. Yes. So correct. just. Send us now. I mean, now two of us cannot reply you now because we are doing it live. Yes, but there will be right. other people, um, other interns, other um, employees yes. in the yes. team that will reply you. So you know, if you know, what if I want to place my order for a bike? Mm. You know, but you know, I, we I can't physically go to the store, right? Yeah, don't worry. So, we have uh, uh, ordering we have, form online. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we, Can we show them have the our form? web two uh, shop website. So mm. we have shop.mightyvalue.com. So that's where you can get your bike access- accessories and, and uh, your bikes as well. And also we have uh, this other link, which is uh, mightyvalue.com slash order, order, order form. form. Mm. Yeah, so uh, the order form is where you purchase your bikes. Correct. Yes, yeah, so you go there and then you can uh, click on the different links. They will show you uh, separate uh, banners that you can click on to, to, to per- uh, place your order for the, the bike that you want. Mm. Yes. Correct. So those who are interested in the first three bikes that we showed just now, yes. you all can visit the yeah, link now. Just visit the link. Yes. Our video team will also put the link in the comments below, so that ah, uh, yeah. you can click on it. Yes. Okay. So three bikes. Three bikes. Classic, carry me, VGT. Yes. So if you want to get a bike to cycle now and you don't want to wait until uh, end December, yes. This three, you can consider this three lah. Yes. Okay. So. Correct. What? So shall we go through shall the? Shall we move on to? You know, since we are on the topic of, you know, new classic, uh, you know, birdie, ah, okay, birdie. the four uh, colors yeah, being so the out. Yes, let, how about okay. let's move on to Can. our birdie range. The whole so, birdie range. Uh, our next range, uh, which is all the, our birdie models, uh, they will come in end December. So the ETA for, you know, the birdie city, the birdie Twang plus, the birdie GT, R20 and the roll off. Uh, you can order now and then uh, your bike will be ready for collection in end December. Yes. Ooh. So uh, let's start with uh, the Birdie City. 
but before that, you know, maybe let's take a short break. You know, we have a video for you. Uh, so this video watch. by who? Uh? This is a video done by our ex intern Sarah. Ah, Sarah. And so okay. this is the Birdy City video. Uh, video team, can we have uh, the video, please? Wow, yeah, nice okay. video. Okay, I actually remember that one. So that one is yeah. by Sarah. Yes. Yes, okay, so yes. what about the Birdie City? So the Birdie City is uh, our other entry level Birdie bike. Mm. So, uh, you know, just now we saw the new classic, right? So actually we have a timeline. So uh, can we show timeline? the timeline okay. of Let's see what uh, timeline. our Birdie bikes, you know, in terms of the price range. So, uh, you know, ah, starting okay. off, we had the new classic. Yes. So that one was retailing at 2099. That was an, an our most affordable uh, entry level body bike mm. that comes with the uh, retro tubular frame. Yeah. So but you know, uh, if uh, moving on to from the city eh? Moving on from the new classic we have the city city <laughs> to the roll off, <laughs> they all use the Gen 3 monocoque frame. You know, and uh, I'm someone who likes the Gen 3 more frame. Mm. You know? Same, yeah, I also so prefer the Gen 3. This is where I start, you know, into the world of Gen 3 body. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically from now on, the models that we're talking about all have the Gen 3, uh, Gen yes. 3 body. And starting off would be the City. Yes. Uh, which retails at 2699, which you can see at the timeline below. Mm. Okay. Okay, uh, so for 2699, what are they gonna get? They're gonna get uh so Okay, we go with frame first. Frame, yes. just now we said, is a Gen 3 monocoque frame. It's a Gen 3 Correct? frame. Then the next one is the derailleur. Derailleur is a 9-speed derailleur, Shimano, Shimano Sora derailleur. Yeah. Yes. Can you all see the derailleur? 9-speed. It comes in nine the speed. Gen 3 frame. Okay. And also, uh, it comes with uh, mechanical disc brakes. Ah, yes, correct. Uh, compared so the, to the new Classic. Yeah. The new Classic was using uh, caliper brakes. So yes. the, just now I explained the kept kept one. Yes, the, <laughs> the rim, then you kept. This one, the yes. mechanical disc brake yeah, actually it uses this uh, disc, this brake. Yes. So. So what's the difference, this brake and uh, the caliper brake? Okay, so basically the V brakes, the caliper brakes, mm. uh, the brakes, uh, they will brake on the rim of the 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 bicycle wheel. Mm, yeah, but right. in term, but for this disc brake, right? The brake is actually here on this disc over here. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, actually, uh, these brakes are somewhat more. Which one got more braking power? Uh, this brake. Right? These brakes yeah. are more uh, responsive in a way, okay. especially in wet weather, wet weather conditions. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, in wet weather conditions, uh, these brakes will do better as compared to the V brakes. Yeah. Correct. But, of course, uh. The upside to the V brakes is that you can swap it out easily. Yes. So maintenance wise and uh, swapping out of the V brakes, the caliper brakes is uh, mm. easier than the uh, disc brakes. Yes. But if you want a bit more braking power, braking force, disc brakes then will have a slight advantage. Yes, correct. So, yeah. mm, what exactly is a city for? You know, it's an entry level. Mm. So yeah, why is why is the price? What's the difference in price? What six hundred is it? Uh, about 600. About 600. Yeah. Why, why is it 600? Okay, so why is it 600? It's, mm. I mean, actually, almost every day. I mean, <laughs> we explain <laughs> most of the stuff already. Yeah. Yes, but, so, yeah, yeah. So but also this the one frame difference, the. Mode, right? Yes, so uh, basically, uh, for those people who, who love this gentry frame, and uh, uh, but you know, uh, you want to. Upgrade everything else. So you want to upgrade the wheel, mm. you want to change the brake, okay. change the saddle, change the grips. You know, you want to you want a birdie bike of your own, basically. 
So then, you want to customize it, you want to make yes. it more personalized, you want to turn it yourself. Then people get the city. The city. Because uh, city is easier to modify yes. as compared to and the it's new more classic. worth mm. your money in a way. Why? Because you're buying, you know, if you are if you if you are already looking to change out all the parts, uh. then oh, yeah. you get the, the, because the more affordable, uh, the most affordable uh, gentry bike just for the correct. frame. You change everything else. Correct. Because uh, like what uh, Skylar mentioned, from now on we are going to talk about all Gentry models. Yes. And they're all um, equipped with different, uh, different uh, parts. Different but if you are planning to keep the frame and then change all the parts, then you get the just system. get the city because yeah. it's the same. All the frames are the same. Yes, correct. But you know if uh, mm. if I'm just uh, looking for uh, entry level bike, mm. then actually the city is also good enough with its stock parts. Correct. You know, so, so good in, for your yeah. So if you like to go leisure riding yeah. or PCN, PCN uh, PCN sure enough. Yes, then the Burley City is actually more than this sufficient. WM, we have a comment by WM Tan. Order, ordered. Oh, ordered. Hey, wow. ordered already. Uh, which one, which one do you order? Uh, please, uh, time like Hope it's one of the what you ordered. Yes. Is, is it one of the first three? I think we. Uh, Maybe. Probably one of the first three la. Maybe yeah. Uh, so maybe. it's either the Burley New Classic, the Carry Me, or VGT. Which okay. one you guess? Type, type, type your order now. Yes, I you guess. guess. Uh. Yes, you guess. Um, I guess new classic. Is, yeah, I also guessing. Okay, never mind. You guessing. I class. I, I guess. Um, rich GT. Okay. I like the rich. I like the rich GT. Uh, Mr. Tan, please. Uh, put your answer in the comment below and let yes. us know. Who is so the rest who order already also just type inside. Type. Tell us what you order. Yes. So you know that uh, what you like. Yes. Okay. What um, if I get correct? Huh? What if I get correct? I think you ask the boss to buy you a drink or something. Eh? Not you buy me what? Okay, well then we bet on, we bet on, we bet on bubble tea. Yes, okay, bubble tea. Okay. New classic. Okay, um, Mr. WM Tan, you must tell us what you, what you order uh, so we can, yes. we so can decide I can on who win wins the free bubble tea. Nah, I think I'm going to win. Okay. I believe you bought who the win? Wish GT. Okay, who moving on to the on? next uh, birdie model. We have... We have... Towing uh, Plus. Correct, back to the timeline. Towing Plus. Correct, the Towing Plus. So Towing Plus is retailing at... Two uh, nine nine nine. Yeah, three thousand sounds a bit too much, so we reduce by one dollar. One dollar. So it's two nine nine nine. Two nine nine nine. Okay, so uh, let me just unfold this for okay. you. Okay. While he's unfolding, right, the Touring Plus is. Uh, what's special about it? Okay, the frame is the same, Gen three monocoque frame. Uh, how many speed? Touring Plus 20 has twenty four speeds. speeds. Uh. So sounds like very fast, right? But no, nope. that's not what the speeds mean. Yes. So the speeds mean. Uh, okay, actually, can you show them how it? how it makes uh, totals up to 24 speeds. So basically the Touring Plus, right, it comes in, it has uh. both an external hub and an internal hub. Mm. So uh, basically how you get 24 is eight times three. So eight on the external hub over here, and then in the internal hub we have three. So total eight times three, you get 24. Correct. Yes. So it's like math uh, time stable. Uh. Yes. The time, ta time table or time stable? Uh. Time Time day. I don't never mind, I can do the mental sum already. So two times two is four. Four times you know there's no four times eight. It's three times eight. So two times two is four. Three times four is twelve. Very good. As long as you can do basic math up to twenty-four, you can cycle this, you can write this bike. Yes. Okay, so this is the towing plus. This is the towing plus. So yeah. uh, what the towing plus is good for, right? Is basically, you know, if you are constantly cycling on on different uh, terrains, terrains yeah. or, or different places where you need to constantly change speed uh -huh. to, to, to adjust and adapt to uh, you know those like slopes or yeah. like dips you know then because when you, you go up slope you will class. go to a lighter gear yes. so you can uh, you, you can do have to pedal as easier. hard to yes. um, cycle like Correct. go up slope Correct. it's like you drive car at the time you go lower gear to go up slope Correct. Yeah. Yeah, so Same thing. this is good for that, you know, if you, if you are, uh, I mean, it, it, it's not, uh, now, now you can't do it, but you know, like last time, you know, uh, when you can still travel uh. to other places, you know, where the hills are much steeper. High one, maybe. Uh, yeah, Taiwan, all those uh, up hills, are, very steep hills, right? And uh, ever, ever changing need. terrains. Ever know? change, oh, ever very cheap, ma. you try and act cheap. Oh. Okay, yeah, but uh, Touring Plus, I mean, that, that's how the name yeah. came about, Touring, Touring Plus. Plus. So, so, you know, you like to tour, you like to go on tour. Actually, in Singapore. Sing yeah, Singapore also can tour. Yeah, it's so not just, just overseas. So, Island, Island. If, you, Island. if you want to cycle for very long distance. Mm. Marina Bay, yeah. you cut until where? Uh, 
At least I don't know. But where do we cycle that time? Uh? Marina Bay, then we cut to Stadium. Ah, stadium. Yeah, stadium. Actually, it's quite far, right? No, actually that's quite okay. Oh, that's very okay. Uh. Yeah. I don't I don't cycle much. Yeah. I okay. So don't cycle much. Yeah, <laughs> twenty plus. Okay, so for twenty plus, uh can we have the slides to show our colours? So the twenty plus comes in eight colours. So there's lime green, uh aquamarine, sky blue, uh red black, uh and then there is uh, graphite black, the new space black, uh military green military green <laughs> and mercury copper, which is uh the colour which uh will be phased out by the end of the year, similar to the new classic frame colours. Yes. And it's nice. retailing at two nine nine nine. And if you order it now, you can collect it in end December. And also, while we're at it, right, we forgot to show the colors and for which price one? for the city. Okay, recap. Let's yeah, so go a can recap. We, can we just re rewind So this is the group. touring class. All right, no, so we're back the to the city, city right? Okay. Uh, actually, the frame colors are the same for the city and touring class. So we have lime green, aquamarine, sky blue, red black, graphite black, space black, military green, and... Uh, the mercury copper which will be phased out by end 2021 which mm. is this year yeah so same thing uh, ETA end December and it's retail at 2699 for the city nice yes okay so uh, actually the same colors lah correct uh, for city and yes. towing plus same correct okay can so got any questions about the city or towing plus you all just yeah, um, so feel free to ask in the comment section below if you have any questions at all just mm. uh, feel free to drop a comment or just drop any of your questions then we'll answer them for you yes yes okay so moving on to the next model based next. on price range would be the gt correct correct GT. Uh, maybe you want to bring out the gt okay okay me. i'll bring out the gt yes wow the frame is red also so as you all can see yeah uh, the frame all same color yeah. same design so you know red black the frame color has uh, recently just come back and it's a very uh, popular color and that's why it was out for, uh, out for how long? a very long period of time yeah. like yeah, when so i started my internship here there was no red black, when, no red when, black. when i started my internship in march there was also no red black and when did you start march march now it's okay you just came back last one right was it early this one uh Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around there. there. Yeah, quite yeah, Either late there. August or early September. Yes. So, so next up in line is the... Yeah, it's red here. Plus. Actually, yeah. This part is red. Yes. The black is... And the black this part. is... Uh, the one that folds. Yes, All right. Correct. So what's so special? What is the GT? What is the GT? Yes, what is the... This is Birdie GT, uh, not yes, Rich GT. not the Rich GT. Because uh, Mighty Velo, we got two GT. We got one Rich GT. That one is another brand. This one, we are yes. going through all the birdie now. Birdie uh, this is the birdie GT. GT. Yes. So How about you tell me. What okay, is wait, the wait, wait first. GT? So the birdie and the rich. The rich, right? Rich uh, collection is only five working days. So after five working days, you can collect after you pre order. Yes. This birdie GT is end December. Correct. Yeah, end, end December. December. Okay, so this GT, the birdie GT is actually modeled after a uh, uh, mountain bike. Right? Because, I mean, yes. you look at the. If you look at the wheels, tires, it's actually you using the already. blackjack tires. Yeah, yeah which thing. have uh, more effect. This uh, the the teeth, the ridges on the on the on the tires. We can so maybe we can show right. You can see, uh, there's actually this uh things that jut up of the yeah. tires. So this we so, call it teeth lah. Yeah, so these are good for, uh, you know, if uh, light off road trails. So if let's say you go to places like uh Coney Island a lot, or you go to like Green, Green Corridor, Corridor a lot. Yeah. Yes. Then you can bring the Birdie GT and it will ride very smoothly. Right. So the tip is there to you know, uh, gain traction, yeah. uh, grab onto those uneven terrain. Correct. So it's good for yeah. those. Um, okay, what, what are the specs? So it's a slight upgrade from the city in terms yes. of the speed. Because yeah, this so one is equipped with the, the so like SRAM X5 SRAM, right? derailleur. Yeah, SRAM yes. X5. Yes. And it's 10, it's 10 speed 10 derailleur. Speeds. Right. And it comes with hydraulic disc brakes. But it's not full hydraulic. It's only a uh, hydraulic actuator. Cable, cable, cable actuator, actuator hydraulic disc brakes. Cable actuator hydraulic yes. disc brakes. Okay, so, uh, so basically, uh, besides the brakes, then it will also come with the blackjack tires. Mm. Blackjack tires and 
Yeah, and also the Gen 3 monocoque frame. Correct. Yes. So uh, back to his cable actuated hydraulic disc brakes, right? It's yes. actually slightly um slightly more braking. Uh, slightly more responsive. Ah, compared more to responsive. Not not say more braking power, but slightly yeah. more responsive. It's a, and it's good uh, because we are riding on uh, uneven terrain. It's usually yeah. more slightly more dangerous, right? Yeah. So, so you, you need want the brakes to be more responsive, so you can correct uh be more. Safe. You feel more secure, right? Yes. Yeah, when we tell you this, you will feel more Safety secure. Safety is number one priority. Okay, I don't know why he need to talk so slow there, but yeah, safety is number one priority. Yes. And we'll go through that. Um, because of that, we'll actually go through a few accessories uh, related uh, to safety. Yes, in uh, a bit. So, uh, just yeah, in a bit, la. watch out for our later part of our life, and then we'll show you how to. Uh, uh, just not show you how to. Show, show you, you to. our. Accessories. Accessories, yes. Yes. Okay, so right. um, if you have any questions for the Buddy GT, yes, um, feel, feel free to free ask below. To ask them. Or yes. any other models also can just go and yes. ask in the comment, se uh, comment section below. Correct. Uh, so now we'll move on to the so next model. Uh, before that, okay. our colors. Ah, sh I always forget about the colors. Okay. So the Buddy GT uh, comes in lime green, aquamarine, sky blue, red black, mm, this four no graphite need any black. Yes, correct. Uh, this uh, one, no uh, additional yeah. charges. Graphite black, yeah. Graphite black, additional 100. The new space black, additional 100. Military green, additional 100. And then mercury copper, which again will be phased out in uh, end of this year, uh, additional 200. Okay, actually, what's the difference between the graphite black and the space black? Because these two, uh, I think the space black is quite new, right? Yes, so yeah. space black is a very new color that. Mm. Uh, uh, that is coming uh, in end, in the end December shipment. Okay. Yeah. So uh, even we don't have it yet, but basically uh. it's like a black black gloss. So you imagine this bike. Oh, it's gloss. But black. Okay. I mean, some of you will have seen the graphite black. The graphite black is actually matte black. Yeah, it's a matte so black. So the the other black is the, the what? space black. Space black. It's a gloss. Glossy black. version. Yes. Okay. Can. So uh, actually we have. Actually, we've got video. A one. video ah, okay. done by our... By who? Uh, my, our favourite full-timer. Uh, I know that's a stolen phrase. I cannot yeah, use but it. Who? Copyright that one. Favourite uh, full-timer? Uh, that, that was done by one of our full-timers, uh, JJ. So, oh, uh, this was done full -timer. Uh, last year... Let's go, JJ! Uh, uh, during uh, the COVID period, uh, ah, circuit breaker. Right. Before that, uh, basically, actually. Okay. Before, so, it's pre-COVID so, video. Yes, pre-COVID video. Okay. So, Let's take uh, a look. Video team, can we have it? Okay, uh, oh, oh, we, we back. are back. <laughs> are, we, are we muted? Uh, no, we no, are, we okay. are very good, very good. Very good, okay. So, uh, yeah, that was a very... Oh, we have a comment, wait. By, by Zhi Xuan Lo. So, JJ, my idol. Uh, oh, wow. 
This See? guy is joking. <laughs> this guy must you must be joking. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, JJ getting credits from that's uh, one of our from fellow behind fans. the scenes uh. Not bad, not bad. Good job, JJ. I think that's, that's a very well done video. I he's like trying video. to hide his smile right now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that was the Birdie GT. Yeah, so, so as you can see, it can uh, ride on uneven terrain or... Yeah, so where was that? That was Coney Island, right? That was in Coney, yeah, that was Coney Island. Island. Yes, so, so it rides very well in Coney Island. Uh, I've uh, cycled uh, the GT in Coney Island before and it oh. was very smooth. Okay, yeah, so, nice. Uh, tried and tested. Uh, if you want to go Coney Island, get the GT. Yes. Yes, he, next uh, one. <laughs> anything is said by Skylar himself. Uh, so uh, you all got problem, go and look for him. You all got four days to look for him. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday is his last day. Okay, okay so moving on to the next on. Uh, model. We have the R20. Yes, so... Okay, you can show the timeline again. Yes, let's show the timeline one more time. A quick one. Okay, yeah, so, so after the, the GT, GT, which costs 3199. Uh, yeah, so yes. the R20 is going at... 4099. 4099. Yes, okay, so... so... What is the R20? What <laughs> is the R20? Okay, okay you unfold I, unfold. I share. Oh, okay. Okay, so basically the R20 is our uh, newest model, uh, uh, newest body model uh, introduced uh, somewhere last year. Uh, so basically this is a racing model. So actually, actually before the R20 was just a, a body racing model which came with uh, 18 inch wheels. But this R20 uh, basically, the R stands for racing, mm. 20 stands for 20 inch. 20 inch wheels. So, the R20 is the only body model which comes with 20 inch wheels. And uh, it's very slick. Yes. So, so, the reason why it's slick is um, there's minimal uh, contact with the ground. That's yes. what makes it go fast. So, this is and similar to uh, all the road bikes out there. Yeah, so quite similar to the Rich GT. Mm. This is modeled after a road bike. So if you are someone who likes to go uh, fast, you like to cycle on the road, uh, yeah, uh, then you can get the R20. This one also very really light. How, how light? Uh, R20 is 10.8 kg. 10.8. Yeah. So uh, yes, it's a very light bike. Mm. Uh, then uh, very good as well. So uh, this R20 uh, comes with a Gen 3 monocoque frame. Yeah, uh, the same frame. 20 uh, inch panel racer. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah. that's the tires. Yes. Yeah. Twenty inch wheels. Twenty inch uh hubs. Uh, it comes with twenty inch uh hub Smith wheel set. Wow. Yes. So hub the Smith wheel the set. wheel is twenty inch uh hub Smith. Then the tires is panel racer. Minute tough tires. Tough tires. Yes. Yes. So uh, yeah, it comes with uh disc brakes as well. Correct. Disc brakes. So uh the higher. Or the following models, most of them, are, if not all of them, come with uh, mechanical disc brakes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the only one that comes with uh, hydro cable actuated hydraulic disc brakes. <laughs> wow, that's very long. Cable that's actuated long. hydraulic disc brakes. It's the GT. It's the GT. And the Twin Plus. Yes, the Twin Plus. Right. Okay, so um, some of you are will be wondering if you get the R20, where can you cycle? So yeah. in contrast to the what was the previous one, Birdie GT. Birdie GT is good for off road. Like can, stop, can I just stop you for a moment? Why? We have our comment from Mr. Tan. He ordered the Burley New Classic. My bubble tea. Um, Mr. Tan, uh, can you buy another Rich GT so I don't, have to, I don't have to treat him a bubble tea, please? Thank you, Mr. Tan. One, Thank you. Just one more Rich GT, uh, can I? Uh, any color. My I, I, recommend the, I recommend the orange or the, maybe the black. Aquamarine also can, whichever you like. <laughs> just, I, don't want to, I don't want to buy him a bubble tea, please. Bubble tea. <laughs> okay. I will send you my order. <laughs> please. Okay, um, okay, jokes aside, thanks for ordering the Birdie yes, New Classic. Thank you very much. You hope you like it. Yes, correct. Uh, so, hey, you ordered now, so you can collect when? Five days, Friday? Uh? Uh, if you ordered today, uh, you can collect after five working days. Yeah, so, five sometime working. next week. Some, sometime next week, yeah. Yes, sometime next week. Very fast, uh, very fast. Yes. By next Saturday, right, most likely you get the bike already. Okay, Call back to this Birdie R20. What are we talking about, the R20? <laughs> he, he stopped me halfway, I forgot about the R20 already. I'm sorry, I just need He stopped I just me to tell me I lost a bet. Okay, so it's uh, good for uh, going fast, but it's not suitable for uneven terrain because yes. of the thin tires. Yes. Because the slick tires, like I said, in, uh, minimizes traction with the ground. Yes. And it doesn't provide the grip that you need for those uh, 
uneven terrain. Uh. What, mm. what other words to describe? Undulating terrain. Undulating terrain, yes. Shout out to uh, Brian. <laughs> Undulating terrain. Okay, okay actually, last... uh, we oh. have a question that we get from our customers when uh, we were still at the retail or sometimes even in PMs would be, you know, what bike should they get? Should they get the GT or should mm. they get the R20? You know? So, oh, put this in one. you can just show, right? So it's, they're both in red black. So, uh, so basically, just a, a quick summary of what these uh, differences between these two mm. is uh, apart from the frame, which is both the same, uh, the R20 is modeled after a road bike. Correct. You know, which is so uh, down 20 here, inch you want to cycle wheels. fast, this side, road bike. Road bike. You want to be more uh, rugged. Yes, uh, then GT. the GT is more of a mountain bike yeah. kind of feel. Yeah. So, uh, R20, 20 inch, Hulk Smith, wheel set, Van Okay, uh, how about we name out Very all the clear. stuff, right? Then I say. Okay. So, my man, R20, uh, mine is the slick side, uh, fast one. R20, 20 inch. Yours? 18 inch. Okay, then my. How many speeds? Mine 11 speeds. GT 10 speeds. Okay, what else? I use blackjack tyres. Ah, I use Panaracer Minute tough tyres. So oh, mine right. is thinner, slicker, can go faster. Yes. So mine is more versatile. <laughs> more versatile. I, I just feel like winning it today. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. GT is more versatile. I'm all about the speed. I don't you cycle much because I don't need to cycle much. I Spatter a few times, this thing go very fast already. Go very See, fast. Right, GT is our best seller for a reason. It's so versatile. You can cycle on PCN. Then if I want to bring to Coney Island, I can bring it to Coney Island. Okay, la. yes. fair enough, fair enough. But it's all a uh, personal preference. Yeah. Yes, okay, so uh, GT best bike. That's all you need to know. Nah. So moving need, on need for to our colors for the R20. Okay. R20 comes in Okay, uh, R20 comes in colors. similar colors, I would say. The colors. basic colors will be lime green, the aquamarine, sky blue, red, red black, and also... Um, okay, so those four are the basic colors. Yes. Then uh, for the premium matte colors, we have graphite black, military green, these two. Space and black. Also space also. black, but space black is uh, glossy, right? Yes, space black is yeah. a gloss black, just to reiterate again. So these three colors will require a top up of 100. Yes, and, and then uh, we have Mercury Copper, uh, which uh, will be phased out by end of the year, as well as an additional polished silver. So uh, it's, uh, this polished silver frame color will, will be only available for this R20, as well as the roll-off, which we will introduce next. Hmm. Yeah, so roll -off. Both, both the polished yes. silver and the Mercury Copper will be phased out by the end of the year. Yeah, and it's retailing uh, at 4099 and uh, if you pre-order now, you can collect it in end December. Yes. Hey, speaking of the roll-off. Moving on, uh, we will move on to our last uh, body model. The roll-off, the king of all birdies. Yes. So why is it the king? Why is it the king? Okay, let's talk about its price first. Uh. Because a lot of you will be wondering why is, why is the price you know, like If you this. see the timeline. Where's the timeline? Can we show the timeline? The timeline. If you see the timeline, okay, the world so the king of the birdies is 6199. It's a very big jump from the R20. So why? But why? No, one, one glance. Okay, now yes. don't need a timeline. Thank you. Okay, so now you look at the bike. Why do you think this costs 6199? Hmm, I wonder. I'm asking you, you're supposed to tell them now you wonder. Oh. Okay, so why is it 6199? So basically, why it's 6199 is actually because of its internal hub. Mm. So the Burley Roloff is a 14 speed a full internal hub. Right, let's take a yes. look at this internal hub. So this internal hub, basically, as you can see, this red color thing here, this internal hub is uh, basically uh, uh, made in Germany. And mm. it's very reliable and very durable. Correct. Yes. So, so um, normal normal bicycles, right? Yes. I'll move it a bit. So normal bicycles, you see all the gears are on the side, usually the right side, lah. Yes. You can see the chains. Uh, sorry, the gears are, will be exposed. Yeah. But for this internal gear, everything like the name suggests, internal means everything is inside. Yes. So is this the this drum, 
then everything is working inside internally. Yes. So, uh, you know, uh, compared to our other body bikes, you know, you don't have to pedal when you want to change uh, gears. Oh, change gears, yeah. So, you know, if I want, right, I can just Chi jump, uh, yeah. I so, can jump like uh, multiple gears at one go without even pedaling. Correct. Because uh, the roll-off, the roll-off has 14 gears. Yes. So you can swap, like, let's say you're going up slope, you need a lower gear, right? So you go from, <laughs> keep changing place. So you go from maybe a uh, tree. Then yeah. after that, you go down slope already. You want to go a bit faster. Ah, Straight away, you go to a night. What, 14? <laughs> so 14 fast. ah? Yeah, not so fast ah. Okay, yeah, but uh, it's 1 to 14. So you got total yeah. 14 speeds. And yeah, like what he mentioned, you don't have to pedal when you're yeah. changing the gears. So, you know, because of this uh, very, uh, very good internal hub, mm. you know, uh, it's almost maintenance free. Ah, correct. Yeah, so that's uh, another thing that sets the roll off apart from the other body model. Mm. So, you know, if you don't really like to maintain your bike a lot, you know, you're looking for something for uh, yeah, I don't like to maintain. very easy maintenance, yeah. then the roll off is for you. So, uh, you know, the roll off after you how cycle about, yeah, oh. I'm getting to that. Okay, okay. Calm down. Okay, okay, how to maintain. Yeah, they're probably asking lah how to roll maintain. Off, roll off very uh, enticing. I mean, quite enticing lah. Yes, no, I so don't like to maintain because maintenance very much fun. That's true. You need yes. to clean the chains or this. Okay, yeah. so, you know, uh, why, uh, I, saw, why, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, why, why is it so good? Uh, why is oh, the maintenance okay. so simple? Why is it almost maintenance free? Yeah. So, basically, uh, not why, I actually covered that part. But you know, how? How? Okay, yes. how? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> after you cycle about 5000 km, mm -hmm. you just need to uh, change out the oil in the internal hub. As simple as that. 5000 km? Yes, 5000 km is quite very long. Yeah. Okay, so wait, what? You just change the, the yeah. oil inside? Yeah, correct. So, so one after bottle? Yes, one bottle. Oh. Uh, so after you cycle 5,000 km, oh. all you need to do is just swap out the oil. Nice. And then you can cycle another 5,000 km. So that's all? Uh? Yeah, that's mostly it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but so basically for this roll-off, you're actually paying for the hub, Mainly correct? The hub. Correct. So yeah, the mini you're paying for the hub. Yeah, so uh, some other things uh, is also 18-inch. Uh, hmm. wheels and it uses the marathon racer tires okay so it's yes. a well-rounded tire correct so then can it go 20 inch uh no uh so uh because of the internal heart uh, you can't uh change uh this wheel set hmm. to a 20 inch wheel set because hmm. of the internal heart so if you want to if you want a 20 inch bike you can consider the R20 mm. or you can consider the CT and then you swap out the tyres to a 20 inch. Or the Ridge GT, right? Ah, the or the Ridge GT also can. Okay. Yes. So uh, some people will think that uh, the roll off, right, the king of all birdies is what, 14 speed. So you'll think that like, it's very fast. But actually, that's not true. The roll off is not designed to go fast. So it's good for. It's good for touring also. Touring also, it's yeah. It's very good for touring. So. Uh, it's for leisure riding but at a very low maintenance rate. Yes. Yeah. So All that's right. the selling point of this roll off. Twenty plus. So. Oh, yeah. Show the difference. Yes. Mm. So actually, another Certain question that I get, uh, or we get, is you know, uh, why the roll off though? Why? Why the roll off? Yes, yeah, because the twenty plus also oh. has an internal hub. Correct. It has both internal and external. So, you know, why the big price difference? Mm. Yeah. So. Basically, to answer uh, any of your questions is uh, the roll-off hub is made in Germany. You know, it's very durable, very reliable. Yeah, but for the Twin Plus, it's actually uh, more just of a regular internal hub. Yeah, so that, that's why, uh, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, so basically, this one is normal mm. entry level. Uh, normal entry, uh, you can think uh, about it that way. It's entry level, uh, entry internal level hub. Then internal this one is like some Ming Pai one. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Umiya one, uh, this one got, got yeah. brand one <laughs> from brand Germany. One. High class, atas one. Yes, yeah, so you know, more speeds doesn't mean more expensive. 
Yeah. And doesn't mean more speeds means you go faster. Yes, it is, you know, quality over quantity. Wow. Deep. Yes. Okay. Wow, we got another. Oh. Oh, Mr. Tan. No Mr. Tan again. Buy no one. money, buy one more already. Thank you, Mr. Tan. It's okay, la, it's okay. La. My bubble tea cheaper than you buying another, but, but it's okay. You can, you can recommend to your friends, though. You can uh, tell them about the five uh, working days only the Rich yes. GT, the Birdy New Classic, the one that you just ordered, and also the Carry Me. If they can wait, then you can tell them about the other birdie models also. Correct. Intro to your friends. Yes. Thank you. So, you know, Good enough actually, really. I will uh, buy the bubble tea for him. Looking forward to it. Hey, okay, no so basically, uh, actually both of these bikes are good for touring. Mm. So, uh, you know, uh, even for the 14 speed one, you know, if you, you think 24 speeds is a bit too complicated for you, uh, the roll-off is also very good for touring. So, uh, our Lao Pan himself has brought the roll-off overseas. And then he has oh, right. with it. With 14 yeah. speeds, it's more than sufficient for him. Correct. Yeah. And really, when you bring overseas, right? Uh, because the maintenance is that low, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Not so, it's messing actually up in any way a like. very good bike to bring overseas as well. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, let's show the colors and the price. So, for roll-off, it comes in lime green, aquamarine, uh, sky blue, red black, graphite black, Space black, military green, uh, mercury copper, and the additional polished silver. Yes. So. So polished silver only for this roll off and R twenty, was it? Yes. So uh, polished the polished silver frame color, uh, is only available in for for the R twenty, and the roll off. So you know if you really like the polished silver frame color, uh, you only have three options to choose from. Which is R20, Roll Off, and New Classic. Mm. Yes. So. Uh, but all going to be phased out end of the year. Yeah, so if you really like it, uh, quickly place your pre order now. Uh, you mean the, the, the link, the link uh, below, which we will show in a bit. But so yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, link. Can we have the, 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 the shop link again just to show uh, our viewers what it's like, uh, like the website link? And uh, our video team will also put the, the link in the description. Comments. Oh, comments, comment section. I mean, this is not a YouTube video, but okay. Uh, yeah, so you know, shop.mightyvalue.com or mightyvalue.com slash order form. Mm. Then you can place a pre order and get your polish silver. Yes. Polish silver will phase out end of the year. Yes, and polish silver, you know, has very little socks there. Yeah. It's actually one of the best sellers, uh, the polish yes. silver. So right. get it now before it's phased out or before it's sold out. Mm. Yes. Yes, uh, be like Mr. W. M. Tan. Order it now. Uh, order now. Order now. Very good. Okay, Yay. moving on. Let's move on to the moving accessories. On. Oh, wait. We don't talk about that. Yes. So, uh, actually... Okay, we actually have one more model. It's not <laughs> worthy. It's more, not two rich. More. Two more. Two more. So, okay, two more. basically, uh, this is uh, uh, all our body models. So, now we'll move on to our next model, which have also... Uh, has come back uh, quite recently. Mm. Uh, so this is uh, oh, the, the Iruka C7. So actually we have a video for you to show. Yeah, so Let's uh, show them the video first. Show them the video. So that was the Iruka. Yes, so, so actually, I think you are more well versed in the Iruka. Maybe you share more. Yeah. So this is the Iruka. Uh, actually, this is the the uh, the older model. This is the mm. Iruka S. So, uh, but okay. the one we are bringing in is actually called the Iruka C7. It will look quite similar to this. Okay. So, let me just show you. Yeah, so, so you see the way it unfolds, right? It's the same as the Birdie models. Yes. You just swing the back wheel up. So uh, the C7 will look very similar to this, mm. and you know, uh, 
basically how the Iruka came about is you know it was designed by uh, this uh, person uh, called uh, Masaki Kobayashi. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> he was a CFO Ma. of a tech company. Okay. And uh, you know, uh, just like just like you. Uh, what you know, what it, like me? Basically, in meetings, right? Uh, meetings. Board meetings. I think you get very bored. I get bored during board meetings. Yeah, and you sleep. <laughs> you fall asleep. I fall. Okay. Yeah. He's don't expose me then. I knew Pai Bhavati, you still want to expose me. Well, not good, this fellow. I mean, what are the chances? Right? Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so he what, fall asleep? During not board fall meeting. asleep, but he, he gets get bored very bored. You know, he oh, starts okay. drawing and, and you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, basically, basically what me. you do in things. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, and, and, and he was also an avid cyclist a lot. So he had a uh. lot of uh, foldable bikes, you know, like Birdie and other... Uh, other such follow back mm. brands, you know, and you know, uh, he wanted to basically uh, create a bike that uh, could be used easily for transportation. Densely, uh. Uh. Yes, transportation as well as densely populated uh, areas. Oh, so like where he CBD lived in such areas as like uh, Tokyo, you know. Uh. So like Singapore, also is very quite densely populated. Yeah. Yeah. So. He uh, started designing and then uh, uh, he uh, basically came up with this design. Uh. He used, uh, basically came up with this design mm. which is uh, ideated from a uh, sommelier knife. So you know the wine knife? Oh, so it's a som- sommelier, sommelier knife. Sommelier. 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 Yes. Okay, so the sommelier knife is like the one with the, is the corkscrew one? Yeah, right? yeah, it's kind of like a Swiss army knife. Swiss army knife. Oh. Yeah. So I think wine drinkers will know. Uh. Yeah, so if you drink wine, you'll know what it is. So, uh, which part of it is basically the frame. You can see the frame is curved, right? And also, the center is hollow. So, when you fold it... Oh, the, the wheel actually, yeah, the wheel yes, actually goes the up. The rear wheel will fold in uh, and nicely hmm. into so the... So, the C7, seven. the one that we're bringing in, is similar to it's this? It's the same uh, frame design. Okay, then what are the specs for the C7? I think so they will want to know the specs. Basically, the C7, mm. uh, C stands for comfort, okay, and 7 is 7, seven speeds. Speed, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so seven this speed. Iruka S model, right, uh, is 8 speeds. Okay. Yeah, and it's more like a sportier kind of model, in okay. a way, compared to the C7. Yeah, so uh, what sets the C7 apart from this or older S model is basically uh, it'll come with uh, wider tires. It's still eighteen inch, but the tires will be wider. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so more traction, more car. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So wider tires, and it will come with a thicker saddle as well. Uh, so yeah. it's more for comfort, lah. Yes, yeah, more correct. for it's a uh, more of a comfort, comfort kind of bike, and mm, also okay. uh, the handlebar. It will come with a longer riser handlebar. Uh. Yes. Okay. So, okay. You know, overall, when you sit on it you'll feel uh, more comfortable okay. in your rides. Yeah. Alright. Anything else to add on for the Iruka? Uh, the Iruka? Uh, Folding wise? What Iruka means? Kids. What, what does Iruka mean? Yes. Okay, actually, uh, we have a slide to show you. Maybe, maybe uh, we just uh, go through the colors. So, the Iruka comes in five colors, five frame colors. So, there is uh, silver, black, uh, storm grey, red, and blue, and it's retailing at two eight nine nine. Mm. And uh, uh, you place your order, and you can collect it somewhere in mid December. Also, oh, it's the same shipment as the other body models. Uh, no, 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 different. Body model is end December. Oh, this is mid December. Mid December. Okay, so, so if you earlier. slightly more impatient, then you yes. can <laughs> opt for the Yuka C seven. Yeah. You know, if you want a, you want a one of a kind uh, Christmas present. Christmas present. Yeah, Christmas present. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's Iuka. true, that's true. Yeah, so Yuka is a very special... Oh, who want to buy Christmas present for me? Uh? I also want 2899 Christmas present. <laughs> you want to <laughs> buy for me? Uh? I buy bubble tea. Uh. I buy 10 bubble tea. You buy me ten, one Yuka. 10 for uh, Yuka. S- sounds good. Uh. No, man. Okay, so... Okay, then? Basically, uh, maybe I'll show you how to fold mm. the Yuka. So actually, uh, yeah, so we start with this, right? So to fold it, 
you align your pedal somewhere about here so somewhere in between the wheel and the chain and then there's a latch here you just lift it up they can fold in your rear wheel oh it's really like the body yeah, yeah quite similar then after that you just lift this part up there's a lever there's a lever here just open it then you hold this black knob right just pull it out then you fold it inwards like that oh yes so it folds the other side instead correct and also uh, if you can see on the other side right actually uh, there is a magnet then just turn turn around here. and show them yeah so there's this magnetic part over here so uh, you can just oh you, okay so yes. it's a bit hard to see now but I don't know how to there's this uh, there's this part that will engage yeah. with the magnet and then we just lock lock yes. it in place correct so let me just turn it I feel a bit uncomfortable in this position okay yes yeah, so close it nicely and after that your handle bar there are two levers so the first one you open then you put it down then you close it you scan lever you bring it up then you fold it in like that wow this one can fold a lot uh. yeah and then you know you can even same uh, zip post can go down zip post can go down two times wow correct Okay, and so it can actually be folded to be very, very compact. Very compact. Yes. Okay, so I think if you all got any questions about the Yuka, you all can yeah, continue so to ask in the, the uh, comment section. The This C7 mm. is uh, Wait, quite C7 limited. will fold like this also? La. Same. Okay, so it's exactly the same. Yeah, so uh, the C7 uh, quite limited mm. in, number, in terms of uh, numbers. Okay. So, you know, if you like uh, unique frame designs, you know, Mm. One of a kind friend, mm. like, you know, like uh, what we call early adopters, you know, because early this adopters, is wow. a very, very special frame okay. design, very special true, true. bike, you know, because the rear falls into the yep. frame. Yeah, so. So if you if want to, basically, you if you want to stand out from the rest, yes, you, um, get the you, get, you can get the Yuka. Yes, and one more thing I forgot to mention, uh. which is uh, basically what the Yuka uh, is, is, is. is what makes it stand out uh. is basically its pickup speed. Oh, yes. okay, why? So basically, when you ride the, on the Iruka, when you cycle, it will go off very fast. Yes. So the acceleration is faster? La? Yes. Oh, right. okay, okay. So, you know, when you just sit on the bike and then you start moving, or when you start move, uh, pedaling off, uh, you know, you can move off very, far, very wow. fast. Okay, then those that want to race, right? You want a faster pickup speed? I guess this is the bike for you. Uh. Um, uh, uh, okay, I tried. <laughs> okay, what's the what's the next model? Come, let's move on. We got a lot of things to cover today. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, moving on to our. You said one more. Yes, we have one more. Which is which is the carry all. Carry all. Okay. How can I forget the carry all? Let me just move the Yuka. Yeah, so this will be the last last bicycle bike. model before we move on to oh, the accessories. Tricycle, you know. Okay, yeah, this is not a bicycle, this is a tricycle. Yes. So what's the difference between a bicycle and tricycle? Bicycle, bi yes. means two, tri means three. Well, wow, simple as that. Wow. 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 Welcome to English class with Daryl and Skyler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So while well, Daryl is unfolding, uh, while well, he's showing you how to unfold the bike. So how to unfold, right? Uh, sorry to cut it off. But yes. how to unfold is basically the same as your carry me. Just that the base is wider, that's all. Yes. The methods are still the same. Alright. So uh you know who exactly is the carry all for? You no? Know? Like who is it catered to? So basically the carry all is catered to about five groups of people. So the first one is active seniors. So people like uh your grandparents, uh your parents, uh who they you know, uh, they want to go out and and exercise and cycle. 
you know, then they can opt for the carry all because uh, you know, like they're, they're seniors, but uh, maybe uh, they're not uh, how to say. Uh, they don't know how to cycle. Like it's a bit too dangerous for them to cycle on a normal bicycle, but you know they still want to get their uh, exercise. Okay. Ah yes, then they can get the carry yeah, they all. They also can exercise. Why? Because also single speed. As long as ah. single speed, right? It means it's very hard to uh, go up slope. For example, ah, right. so, so you want exercise. to challenge yourself, wow, yes. this is the bike for you. Okay, uh, second group of people is people who don't know how to cycle. Yes. You know, if, 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 if you don't know how to cycle and you try cycling and still cannot cycle, then you can get a carry off and you know, still go out and cycle with your friends. Then the third group <laughs> of people would be uh, people who have cycled on a bicycle before. And you know they have gotten injured in the past and are too scared to cycle again. Ah, mm. uh, so, uh, but they still want to cycle lah. If you okay. get the experience of cycling, some somewhat, then carry on. Carry on. Okay, I think we have a video, right? How about we just show them a the video? Uh, do you have sure. a video? Do you have right? All right. So uh, you all have seen the carry all. So whatever Sky said is true lah. It's for yes. those who are, you know, active seniors. Active know seniors. Cycle, uh, gotten injured cycling before. Uh, uh, post, cycling. post 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 surgery rehabilitation. Ah, uh, good for rehab. Yes, yeah, good for rehab, and uh, you know, uh, special needs. It's very comfortable, very easy, yes. right? You don't have to put much thought or like effort into riding. Yes, it's yeah. you know, it's very sturdy. Yeah, it's, very, it's, very, it's very very stable. So you don't have to worry about falling off yeah. the bike. Safer yes. than your normal bicycles. Correct. So Okay, so I think yeah. we've covered Yeah, so I think uh, we covered like all the bikes today. Yes. Uh, so before uh, that before, before that, yeah. The carry all comes in two oh. colours. You keep Okay, two it. colours. Yeah, yes. So it comes in khaki brown and slate grey. And it's retailing at one four nine nine. And if you place a pre order now you can collect it in end November. End November? Yes. End November. That's right. Yeah. Well, I keep talk I keep forgetting to talk about the colors, ah. Yes, I think okay. a bit rusty already. You know. Rusty? Nah, there really I not enough sleep really. School school is tiring. Ah. school is tiring. Not enough sleep. Right. Really a lot of projects. Uh, you know, uh, this value of sleep. Yeah. Sleep is very important. Can see the eye bags. Yes. Not so good, ah. <laughs> school is not good. Okay, okay so yeah. um, I think. Yeah. So I, I have never missed out anything, right? No, no, no. Yeah, so basically okay. we have covered uh, all, all the bikes, our bikes yeah. that we are uh, selling currently. But and, don't, you know, don't leave yet. Yes, we are not done. So we are going to go through a few accessories yes, so that will emphasize on safety and... Yes. Yeah, safety. Yes. So, you know, if you, you know, after our, our presentation, all the bikes, yes. you want to get your own bike, you know, you want to get uh, a birdie, you want to get a carry or, you know, uh, just uh, click, uh, click on the link. Uh, we have the, we'll have show the link uh, over here. This is shop.mightybell.com or uh, mightybell.com slash order form. And yes. you can place your order. And So the three yeah. bikes that uh, only need uh, five days. Five working days is... Yeah. You can collect your bikes within five working days. The Berlin three bikes Classic, are... Carry Me and Reach GT. This three. Yes. Then for... Uh, end December collection, which is our, our Birdie models. So we have Birdie City, 
Body 20 Plus, GT, uh, GT R20, R20 roll off. Yes. Then for mid December is the Iruka, mm. uh, Iruka C7, and then for end November is the carry off. This one. Yes. So you know, if you have any questions or uh, regarding our, our bikes, you can just feel free to put them down in the comments below, or you know, after the live, you can PM us through uh, Facebook. Uh, Instagram. Yeah. Don't be shy. Uh. Today, like, I think some of you are quite shy. Don't want to ask questions. Yes, we yeah. will gladly answer we will just, them. Too. Just ask them, we will gladly answer. Yes, okay. okay. I think uh, maybe it's time to move on to accessories. Okay, can. Yes, so let's go to the accessories. Let's have a close up on the accessories. So, uh, yes, hello, welcome to the accessory table. So, the first. Uh, accessory that we're going to cover is actually the Brooks saddles. So I can just show you here. So these are some of the Brooks saddles that we sell. Okay, we go through one by one. Yes. So uh, today we'll be going through four different bo uh, Brooks, 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 saddles. Uh, Brooks saddles. saddles okay. yeah. So oh, tongue twister. Uh, the first uh, saddle that we're going to introduce to you is the Brooks uh, Cambium C17. So, what is Cambium? You know, uh, Cambium is a Cambium special is material, is it? Yeah, so it's actually a special material. Uh, so it's a flexible natural rubber. Mm. Yes. So, uh, if you can see in the close-up here, it looks like that. This is a C17, and yeah. So basically, what this cambium material is 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 uh, weather resistant. You no, know, you know, if it's raining or you know just sunny weather, the saddle can uh, is it will be able to last. Yeah, I can survive weather. all these uh, th uh, different weather conditions. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, and so it's also very comfortable. You know, because of the the this cambium material uh it will it is it, very comfortable and it it, it will kind of uh more to adjust yeah more to, to each individual over the, time uh the way you sit actually not over time hmm. but you know just in general when you sit on it then oh okay the rubber will, will, will kind of like uh okay cool, adjust cool. to how you sit so that's the c17 yes, right this is the c17 Wait, then there's one more here the c19 yes so this is the c19 Put side by side. I it's think there's also a difference. Cambium. Okay. So basically, what is the difference between the C17 and C19? And you know, while we're at that, we have the C67 as well. Wow. Yes. Looks huge, huh? So this is a 17, it's a thinner saddle. Then as we move up to the 19, it's a thicker saddle. Yes. And then the C67 is even uh, wider. Yeah. So, so when do you use this kind of saddle? Yeah, so you know, if you are looking for, uh, you know, you like to go... Okay, uh, I think the C17 is for those that... Uh, I think the, the difference is the cycling position, right? Yes. Because uh, so, you if know, you have a more wider base like the C67, it's probably for you to, it's probably for you to cycle in an upright position when you're sitting yes. up. Then, uh, because there's more... There's more air surface area here. Yeah, so, so for you know, your rear to, you like, to rest on it. Looking for leisure rides. Mm. You know, that's uh, comfortable riding, sitting upright. Then you should, you can get the C67, which is a very comfortable uh, saddle. Right. Then, uh, you know, maybe if you're into a little bit of uh, trekking once in a while, then you can get the C19. So actually this C19, right, is uh, the Cuff cuffed version. Right? version of the C19. So, uh, actually we have a slide to show you uh, the saddles. So, for the C17 and C19, there is the standard version, which you can see here on the C17. So, this C17 here is, uh, you can see there is no hole uh, in the middle. You know, it's like uh, solid. Then, in this C19 carved one, uh, you can carved. see there is a... Yeah hole here and so basically what this hole does is uh, it reduces the pressure yes, and it also sit on it allows a bit of airflow 
Yes. Yeah, because you see when you press. Compared to the C. This one is slightly more rigid. Yes. But there's no right or wrong, there's no good or bad. Right. Uh, basically, end of the day, the saddles are based on your personal preferences. Yes. So, like I said, this one, like you see, it has a. So, you can remove the slide. So, the C67. Yes, the C67. 67 has a wider area. So, if you like to cycle, uh, yeah. if you like to lean back, or you. No, no, not lean back, if you like to sit upright when you're cycling, I would recommend this C67. Because yes. it's more comfortable on your, your bum, your rear. Yes. Then, if you like to lean forward slightly, uh, you can uh, either go for the C17 or the C19. Correct. And uh, the C17, uh, C19, uh, can we have the slides to show uh, the prices? Yeah, so uh, C17, C19, and C67, they all retail at two, 220 mm. Yes. So these are made of cambium material. So it's uh, flexible, natural rubber, and it's all weather. Okay, now I think enough of the C's. Now they can see that there's this leather one, right? The B17. Yes, B17. So let's show them the B17. This is uh, this the B17. Is so it looks B17. almost the same, but this has a bit but more... But this is made of leather. Yeah, right. Yes. So uh, looks actually, a bit more classy also. this so B17 is uh, actually their best seller. Oh, yes, really? Yes, correct. So. Uh, you know this leather material is very durable, very long lasting. And uh, can you see the holes? There's actually like three holes here. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. Correct. See? Yeah. So as long as there's holes, right? Usually it's for airflow. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, why is it so special? Is because uh, it's it's really a saddle that uh, it's more personal for you. Mm. So basically, this leather material, right? Uh, when you ride it over time, after after a period of time, this whole saddle will mold to. Uh, oh, so this one that will mold to fit uh, yes. the individual. Yes. Right. So starting it might a bit might be a bit uh, tougher because yes. it's uh, it's leather, right? But after, but after you while, ride for for a while, uh. then you will see how the leather uh, molds to how you sit, mm. so that. It makes your ride more comfortable. The time I think now Pan will say right, 100 to 150 km is it? Yeah, around there. Yeah, so around you know, there. Right, about 100 km. Then after that, uh, maybe three to depends on how often or how far you ride each time. Maybe three to five sessions. Then yeah. it will really more to fit um, your yeah. shape lah. Yeah. So that's where it'll be most comfortable. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, the B17 uh, uh, is the standard one is which is this one is 215 mm. and then there's a special one uh, uh, retailing at 250 so what's the special one what, what yeah. the so actually if you want to know what is the special one you can just head on uh, go into our website link so shop.mightyvalue.com so that's where we sell our accessories and stuff so if you want to know more uh, about uh, these saddles and uh, find out about the different colors that we have then you can uh, go to shop.mightyvalue.com to find out more. Correct, because I think there are three other colors. Because we got yes. black, we got um, Correct. some some kind of green, we got a brown, and one more. What's the last one? Uh, mark green. Mark green. Yeah, correct. We got black. mark green, brown, and uh, this one is black. I think there's one more. Uh, just head down to shop.mightyvalue.com and you can find out the colors. Okay, yes, just head down to the shop. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to our next topic, we have our lights. Yeah, so uh, our cycling lights. Uh, first up, we will show. Let's show the front lights first. Okay. Front lights. Okay, we go by. Let's start with the, the night rider. Oh, night rider. Okay. Let's start with the night rider. So here is the night rider Swift Five Hundred front light. So uh, this light is 500 lumens and uh, you know it, it's very long lasting so it's lower setting can last up to about 10 hours and it comes in 5 modes. Wow. Yeah, okay. so, and it's also water and dust resistant. Yeah. So it's actually very bright you can see here and you just press it you know it will change 
Oh, okay. Oh, you change. You change. Okay. Oh, yes. I think. Okay. okay, sorry about that. But basically, oh. uh, we'll just use the main cam. I think I'll, Yeah, let's uh, use this main camera to showcase the, the cam, different uh, lights first. Kind of like. So, this is the C500, so it's very bright. If you keep pressing, right? And this is in a well lit room. Uh. So, well lit room. Yeah, well, okay, well lit room. This is in a well lit room, so it's already this bright. So, you yes. can only imagine if it's dark. So, every time you press, the, you can see it changes modes. Correct. Yeah, so that's a Swift 500. It's very bright. It's very long lasting. Then how many lumens? 500. 500. Yes, and it can last, last up to about 10 hours on the lowest speed. Yeah, so uh, this uh, Knight Rider is retailing at uh, $55. Yes. So moving on to our next few front lights. We still got like four more front lights. Yes. So our next light is uh, our Moon Meteor 400 lumens. So that's the Moon light. brand? Yes, so this is a different brand. It's not Night Rider, this is by uh, Moon. 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 Yeah, so this is the Meteor 400. So this uh, can go up to about 400 to 500 lumens. Mm. Yes, and it comes... Uh, it also has multiple... Yeah, but how long can it, how long can it last, modes. this one? Mm, it can last up to about uh, very I think long. they put here no? maximum run time ah, 80 hours Ooh. so it can last very long you know if you are planning to cycle the whole night you know then you can get the 400 uh, you know as uh, multiple modes as well correct so, so okay we actually have a lot of uh, different front lights and yes. rear lights that we will actually show in a while yeah, so but uh, I'll say that some of the front lights, they have a uh, different kind of... Like, okay, for the Knight Rider, the Knight Rider is actually a wider... Okay, let me hold this. It actually sh shines in a wider area. So it's, uh, I think also preference. Some of the, like, the moon models, they actually have a more concentrated light ray. And you see the... This Knight Rider is actually wider. You, you can turn on, you turn on one of the moon. You show them. So you can see that this... I don't think it's a very fair comparison, right? <laughs> There's a box. Yeah, you just on. Uh. Can? Uh. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but basically, this Knight Rider, right, is uh, it can shine in a wider, wider range, yes. and it has also different modes, uh, similar to some of the Moon models. But the Moon models, more of them, they have a more concentrated, oh, concentrated uh, beam. This is very bright. Yeah. Okay, so for this Moon, this which model? The Moon what? This is the Moon uh, Meteor X Auto. Mm, the Moon Meteor X Auto front auto, light. Yes, auto So this, light. Uh, this, wow, is actually really, really bright. It's very bright. But it's uh, more concentrated and... Okay, come. Oh, it has more modes. Yours... Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. so... That one is really, really bright. What's the max movements on that? 600. 600. Okay, so this is 500. Yes. So, actually, we have multiple lights. And, yeah. uh, you know, the lights are uh, essential mm. for night cycling. Night. Yeah, this is all for safety because uh, yes. what you want to do, why you need lights when you cycle at night is because you need to notify of, uh, notify the people in your surroundings to tell them that you are, you are there, basically. Yes. So, if you are cycling from behind, you know, someone that's walking in front, they'll know that, hey, there's, there's light coming from behind. There's yes. probably a cyclist. Yeah. yeah. So we have a question from Ariel TL. So, uh, do all saddle models provide equal amount of suspension? Yeah, so uh, actually, uh, different models will have a uh, different amount of suspension. Yeah, so this is depending on the model itself. Uh. So if you want uh, more suspension, maybe you can look at the Brooks uh, Flyer Special Saddle, which ah, we have okay. on our shop as well. Yeah, it's retailing at 262. Yeah, I think so it's the one that is in brown. Yeah. Correct. So yeah. if you want to... I think there's black also. Yeah. There's two colours, brown and black yes. for that so model. So if you want to find out more about this uh, flyer special saddle... Shop.mightyvalo.com shop yes. Just visit shop.mightyvalo. And you get Because that's where you find all the accessories. Yes. Okay, so moving on to... Let's move on to rear lights. Yes, let's... Actually, uh, can we show the prices for the front lights first? <laughs> so uh, for the Knight Rider, 
let's say 500 is 55 dollars and as for the moon lights the moon front lights it uh, differs so depending on uh, which light you want so the 400 is retaining at 59 this is the 400 then the 600 is retailing at 79 then we have uh, one more uh, we have this 900 one uh, is retailing at 99 and then uh, this uh, 1300 lumens uh, which is retailing at 129 yes so, okay, so if you put in ascending order of max lumens you look something like this so this is the one with the yes so the moon meteor is the one with the lowest lumens 400 500 600 900 1003 hmm. yes okay uh, let's move on to our rear lights okay let's move on to rear lights so in our rear lights we have uh, different rear lights as well so we have the first one which is uh, the moon uh, Orion uh, which is 50 lumens mm. yes so it's just a very simple light then no, you don't shine directly at them here come let's do sideways yeah sideways view yeah so All right. rear light, it comes in multiple modes as well okay so the rear light is um, of course it's for the rear of your bike the back of your bike yes so this is to notify of uh, people behind you that you're yes. there so Correct. the front light was for people uh, in front you of are, you. Yes. So the rear light is for people behind you. So that they know you're there. Mm. Correct. So I mean, you don't want people to, you don't get into accidents or yes. cause any accidents. Safety is the priority. Correct. So this one is the one with the lower lumen. Okay, so um, the lumens is actually the intensity of the light. And yes. 50 lumens is not very high, but yes. it's sufficient for, let's say, your park connectors because park connectors are usually quite well lit yes. so there's a lot of lamp posts around Correct. so what you need to do is not to you don't want to jar uh, you don't want to make it jarring for the eyes mm. for the people around you mm. you just want to notify them that you're there so yes. this something like this will be enough yes but, but if, if you, you are want, looking uh, for uh, or if, if you are cycling throughout the whole night yeah. this might not be enough because the uh, battery life or rather the life of this um, light uh, will be about two to three hours yes yeah, so, so you, you know, can opt for other options. Or if you want a stronger rear light, we have this Shield X, which is about 80 lumens. And then we have also this, the this Nebula, Nebula, which 200. is 200, 200 lumens. Okay, so for this Omega, Omega has 300 lumens. Yes. So what's so special? Okay, this one is really a bit bright. Let me. Oh, damn. Okay, this is really quite bright. Uh, so the. Omega can go up to 300 lumens. Oh, oh that's okay, so bright. it's too bright. Okay. Yes. This is really, really very bright. Okay, so let me turn it off for now. Uh, okay, but the Omega can go up to 300 lumens, but it doesn't mean, to, doesn't mean that you have to use the 300 lumens all the way. Yes. Because if you use at a lower... Uh, lower light intensity, you can actually mm. last uh, for longer periods. Yes. And that's where correct. you can cycle the whole night with this uh, Omega 300. Correct. As opposed to using the Moon um, moon Orion. Which is 50 lumens. Correct. Because if you use the Moon Orion, you probably have to bring spares or yes. to, uh, just in case. Okay. So, uh, prices-wise, uh, for Moon products, uh, the Moon uh, 50... Can we have the slides? Okay. So, for the Moon the Orion 50, the, this, which is this one, is retained at 39. Then the Shield X, which is 150, oh, 150 lumens, is retained at 69. Then the Nebula, which is 200 lumens, is retained at 79. Mm, how about the Knight Rider one? As for the Knight Rider, the uh, okay. Omega 300 is retained at 65. Okay, nice. Yes, so, if so if you want to find out more, you want to take a look, yes. and more importantly, if you want to purchase any of these front or just rear lights, head just on head down on. to shop.mightyvalue.com. Correct. Okay, so enough with the lights. I think yes. uh, some of them will get blinded already. Yes. Let's move on to 
What can we move? Okay, let's move to the bottles. Yes, let's go to the okay. bottles. Okay, bottles. So, bottles, we have the Fitlock bottle, 600, 590, and 450. So, uh, these three bottles come in uh, different variations. Mm -hmm. So, there is you know, like 600 with bike base, 600 with uni base. Let's talk about the bottles first. Uh. Don't talk about base first. Okay, so... What's the difference? This 600, the number is basically how, how much uh, the it how can much hold, water, uh, the how many ml you can so hold. So 600 is 600 ml, 590 is 590, 450 is 450. Hmm. So, uh, so the 600, it comes with this standard uh, normal... Uh, Suction nozzle. Yes, kind of... Uh, the the way, design. The, la, mouthpiece, so. the mouthpiece. Yes, so, and then uh, for the 5, 90 is a bit more special. Uh, it has this dirt cack on it. So, if you are finding something which is more uh, hygienic, you know, you want uh, something which uh, you know, like you go on 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 like. Uh, this Let's say you go like, dirt trails. Yeah, you go dirt for trails, off road trails. Yeah, you, uh, you then you need to uh, protection from mouthpiece when you drink water. Right. This is something I recommend. Uh. Yes. Then you can get the 590, which is which comes with the dirt cap. The 450, it actually has one with the dirt cap and one without. So this is the one without. So this is the uh, kids version. So it comes with uh, orange and a, a very light blue kind of color. More vibrant colors for yes. the kids. More vibrant. So actually there is one more uh, 450 that actually kind of looks like the 590, but it's 450. Mm. Yes, so... Okay, now we move on to the base. Yes. So, now that we have established the three different bottles, the 600, 590, and the 450, now let's go on to the different bases. Okay. Yes, so, so, bases, we're going to need two different kind of bases. Yes. One so is... The, yeah. this uni base. So, this uni base is basically uh, kind of like a cable tie kind of function. Mm. So, if you... But it's readjustable. Really yes. So, if you have like a birdie bike, or, or carry me or carry all like uh, the bikes uh, which don't have uh, these uh, screw holes on it then you opt for the uni base then yeah, because the uni base you can just attach and detach uh, onto the frames yes. and off the frames la. Correct. so you can re, uh, relocate to whichever position is com comfortable for yourself yes on the other hand we got the bike we base the bike base so if you own a rich GT or uh, a bike which have which has those screw holes on it, so these then are the screw holes. you can opt for the bike base. Mm. So you screw this uh, the bike base onto the screw holes, and Correct. yes, that's why you place a bottle. Correct. So uh, just to reiterate, if you are using a buddy model, because buddy models do not have these screw holes, so we will actually recommend this uh, uni, uni base. base. Yes. But how do you use? It's very simple. Basically, these are the the two holes. Yes. You just. Because it's magnetic, so you actually attach by itself. Yes. Then to detach, you just twist. You drink, we attach. Yes, and it's very and and it's, it's very sturdy. Yeah, it's as simple as that. No, so it won't it won't it won't drop out, un unless you twist it out. Now you, even if you pull, it doesn't. You yeah. only have to. You, you can only come out when you twist it. Correct. Yeah. So uh, actually, these bottles uh, come in different variations, like I was saying earlier. So uh, we can we have the slides for the fill-out bottles so uh, the fill-out bottles actually come with uh, uh, uni base bike base as well as single bottles so if you are just looking for to get another fill-out bottle on its own we also have that so uh, for 600 with bike base is 55 then 600 with uni base is 75 then 590 bike base is 65 then 590 in uni base is 80. Then for 450 bike base is $55. Yes, correct. Alright, so yes. now that we are done with the bottles. Yes. Actually, uh, before that, mm. we have a video to show you regarding oh, the bottles. Feedlock. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's a new video. Can we show them the so, feedlock video? Yes. The bottle so, video.
are back. Yes. All right. So I think we got one more accessory that we want to go through today. Ah, yes. And that is and the that helmets. Is the helmets. So I'm pretty sure because when we go out for photo shoots, when you see our, those of you who follow our social media, you all see our photos. We don't really post with helmets, right? But yeah. we actually do carry uh, several helmets. Yes. And we'll be going through them today. So uh, we have some helmets. So this is the laser sphere as well as the laser compact AF. Compact AF. Yes. Compact as fuck. <laughs> um, <coughs> mm. Yeah, laser compact AF model. Yes. We also have the gyro. Uh, this is the Agilis MIPS and the Medix model. So actually, uh, we are actually going to show you how to properly wear a helmet. Oh. Yes, because you know. Wait, how? Safety is number one priority. So what do we do? We show you. So this is the oh, laser. So you're going to wear? Uh, you're going to wear the helmet? Uh, you are going to wear it. Huh? Yes. I don't know. I don't, I don't wear it. You wear it. Fine. I will wear it. Yes. Okay. So basically, this is the helmet, right? Yeah. And uh, this is the sphere. So uh, actually, uh, remember I must sweep your fringe to the side first because you don't want it yes, to obstruct you your vision. You need to see, see? you don't want your hair. So yes. Uh, after you put your helmet, so there's actually these two things here. So uh, very low. Come, they cannot see you. Too tall already. Okay. Oh, hey, so basically, you see this V shape. It's supposed to turn. You turn. Yeah. Turn the right. Face the right. Okay. There you go. You explain. Yeah. So you see this V shape. It's supposed to fit nicely uh, and under your go under ear your ear, your ear loop. So that's when you know that it's the correct size. Then uh, same for the other side. So it cannot be too short like this. It has to come to at least this around. Yes. So it, it actually uh, fits nicely on your right. on your face. So you just right, and then you just clip it on. And okay. Then you can tighten. Uh, wow, looking sharp, ah. Uh. You can pull onto the thing and you can tighten <laughs> this. <laughs> Not bad, you're quite stable. Try with funny eyes. Okay, so as you can see, yes. I hit him twice already, thrice now, and he cannot feel a thing. So, after so that's how durable and how, <laughs> how strong this helmet is. Okay, before, uh, to, to know how, how, how secure you need your helmet to be, you just, if you can put two fingers nicely and comfortably here, Mm. Under your chin, that's where you know. So it shouldn't be somewhere where it's too tight, oh, or okay. too loose, where you can move around too freely. So something like this is just nice. Then for the sphere, right? If you see the top here, there's actually this thing. Okay, I do. Okay, there's this thing. There's this rotating uh, mechanism. So you can turn uh, both directions. So it's one one side is to loosen, and one side is to tighten. But loosen and tighten, what? Can you explain? Uh, yeah, so actually, uh, there, there is this uh, netting mm. uh, inside the helmet. So when you turn it, it actually tightens to uh, fit your head size better. Correct. So imagine your helmet is like this, right? Inside, yes. there's another netting. It's yes. like a membrane like that. So it yes. actually covers your head and it fits on your head. Correct. So what you want to do is you want that netting to sink and uh, to collapse on your head yes. nicely and to fit, uh, to wrap around nicely. You don't want it too tight, you don't want it too loose. Yes. So that is the thing that actually um, doesn't shift uh, even when you cycle. Yes, so this is something like this. It's very, very nice and very safe. It's, you know, very I, safe. Can go, I can go cycling and I fall down and then I will still be safe. Yeah, I mean, when you cycle, you shouldn't even uh, aim to fall down. Yes. But this is a precautionary measure. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what are the four different? We went through the four. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, maybe let's show uh, the slides. So here we go. We have the laser. Okay, the laser this spear one. and the compact AF. Yes. And we compact also have. <laughs> we also have the gyro, uh, Agilis and Redix. Okay. So the just now we were talking about the netting, right? So out of the four models here. Three of them have the netting. The yes. compact AF does not have the netting. So actually this netting, right? Mm. Yeah, it's a term for it. Yeah, what's it called? So it's actually this MIPS. So M -I -P -S. for the gyro one, they actually put it just beside the name, which is you know, Agilis MIPS and Redix MIPS. Mm. So this system, 
is uh, made in a way to uh, make it uh, safer when you fall. Yeah. So you know, it's just not. It, it's not just you know you wear a helmet and you'll be safe. Mm. Yeah. So uh, what this MIPS uh, thing is is when you wear your helmet right and you fall, depending on uh, the direction of the force, the helmet will... Science lesson, uh, listen up. Yes. <laughs> Alright, continue. The, the helmet will, will move in a way so that uh, it will protect your head better. Mm. So let's say if uh, the force comes from the front like that, then your helmet will move back. So it will, uh, instead of directing the impact uh, onto your di onto your head, it will move it uh, away from your okay, head. Okay, a bit too chim already. So I, basically, I, I, right? Yes. When you cycle, sometimes your helmet will go, 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 will shift out of position, right? Yes. The netting helps to ensure that it stays in place. Yes. Then um. Yeah. So the helmet will move in the direction of the force so that Correct. it spreads out evenly the impact evenly so that uh, you're more safe. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Okay. All right, I think th that's the end of our accessories section for today. Ah. Okay, so if you have any other questions, um, no, just feel free to ask now. Uh, questions about the bikes, about the accessories. Yes. Yeah, just ask. If you want to know no. more uh, what, what kind of other accessories that we sell, mm. uh, you know, just head on down to shop.mightyvalor.com. Mm, and if you want to place order for your bikes, you know, you can go to mightyvalor.com slash order form. Mm. Yes. Can we have the links for yes. shop.mightyvelo and mightyvelo.com slash order forms? Yeah, so the, yes. the link okay, is so here. So these two links. shop.mightyvelo.com for accessories and mightyvelo.com slash order form for your bikes. Correct. And so if you have any questions to ask, you can just ask us on our social media platforms. Or ask here now. It's yes, okay. We will probably okay. be here for another three to five minutes. Just feel free to ask. Yes, yeah, so and Facebook, Instagram, mm. YouTube, uh, we also have an email. Ah, hello at mightyvelo.com. Mighty okay, so any questions, any queries, just feel free uh, to email yes. or text us at any point in time. So just to wrap things up, uh, it's just anyway, we're going to wrap it up, but then yes. uh, feel free to continue with, uh, if you've got any questions, just uh, comment down in the comment section below. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about the five, uh, sorry, you know, the three models that the only come, eh, that can come in only five working days. Yes. So, so the three models three are models the be... Berdinu Classic, yes. the Pacific Carry Me, as well as the Rich GT. Correct. So these three, if you order today, you come within five working days. Yes. So Monday to Friday, uh, after Friday, lah, Friday basically. Yeah. Then we'll email you and then you can come down for collection on appointment basis only. Correct. Yeah. So then, okay, backtrack uh, a bit to the COVID thing. Okay, so... Uh, store updates. <laughs> recap. Recap. Re rewind back to, I don't know, uh, the, the store updates. Yeah. So... So basically because, uh, yeah, so COVID, the, because of the COVID situation yes. worsening again, so now there's only two person uh, restrictions uh, everywhere. Correct. Go out, dine in, uh, visiting, all correct. two person. Yes. So uh, for our store, we also got updates of our own. Yeah, so there will be no test rides and bike viewing appointments uh, mm. starting from next Monday, which is right. 27, uh, until further notice. Mm. Yeah, so and then uh, all, all the current uh, test rides and bike viewing appointments that uh, have been made will be cancelled and we will be contact you, we will be contacting you uh, slowly. Uh, yeah. we are, our, uh, our team is already on it. Yes, We've been contacting uh, some of you since yesterday yes. and they, are, they have been contacting some of you just now as well. So right. yeah, but this is a heads up in case they haven't contacted you yet. We are just here to tell you that um, all your pre-book uh, uh, appointments, appointments will be cancelled. Yeah, will be cancelled. Yes, but so uh, we'll for still checks be open and tunings, for, mm, we will still for open checks for. and tunings, you can still drop, come in and drop off your bike. Correct. And, and also, also for, for bike collections. Bike collections so yes. bike collections, you just have to come on an appointment basis. And mm. yeah, you, you can still collect your bikes uh, basically. Yes. So our store is only open for two things, bike collections and also checks and tunings. Correct. And for checks and tunings, you uh, take note that you will actually take about two to three working days. So you cannot uh, collect it on the spot unless it's something very trivial. Uh. So yeah. Do expect to wait two to three working days to collect your bike back. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, and do you have any more questions? If not, um 
Uh, if not, you know, I uh, think we can wrap up. We can call it a day. Okay, thank, thank you, you for staying with us. This and, was uh, a very comprehensive life. Yeah, I, I, I hope I hope it's a very comprehensive life for you all. Yes, you know, and uh, um, I hope you all enjoyed the life. Uh, this is. I hope Mr. Daniel Lim is watching. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Daniel uh, Lim. I came back just for you. <laughs> yeah. And also, I yeah. So, so those who missed it is actually uh, Skyler's last week here at Mighty yes. Bello, uh, uh, as an intern, because yeah. he'll be going back to school soon. Yes. Uh, to finish up his uh, poly. Diploma. Alright. Yeah. So. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, maybe before we wrap up uh, the life, uh, we, you know, uh, a lot of people have this misconception that you know, the bikes are just brought in here and then you can give to them. Oh, so right, right, we right. We want to explain why. Okay. It takes uh, last point, last point of time. Yeah. So. So actually, uh, we built your bikes. We build the bikes here. Scratch. Yeah, so the, the bikes the, the bikes get sent here in shipments by truck. Yes. Okay, so what we do is we actually build them here uh, in the warehouse. So we are going to show you a video on how it's being done. Yes. We are back. Yes. Okay, we are back. Okay, so, so that's how we actually build uh, the bikes here in uh, yes. Mighty Velo. <laughs> yeah. right. So uh, it's, to clear the misconception, it's not that they ship the bikes here directly. Yes. So they ship the parts and then we build it from, yes. uh, from scratch uh, yes. in a way. Correct. Yeah, that's why um, sometimes the, what call it, the waiting times, the collection periods will be pushed back like mm. every one to two weeks because the bike building slots are always filled very quickly mm. due to the high demand. Right. Yeah, so if you are interested in getting a bike, uh, get it now. Okay? Yes. Because next week or maybe a few days or following week, you never know. The collection period might be 2022. Yeah, because the current one is already 20, end, of, uh, end of December mm. for, the newer, uh, for, for the most of the Birdie brands, mm. Birdie models. Yeah. Okay, so if we don't have any more questions, I think uh, maybe uh, we can wrap up our we'll wrap it up. Yes, yeah. so All right. Thank you for so joining my last live. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Yes. Uh, this will be Skyler's last Facebook live. Uh, next live, if you want to see Daryl's solo live, uh, comment down la. below. It's okay. I don't think I need. I don't think you want me want me to do a solo one. Uh, if you all have any preferences, you all like any of the previous speakers also, just yes. tell us in the comment section. All right.